Welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today's Fusion Friday comes from a question we got in the comments about how to create a shadow receiver, or actually have shadows in your stuff without creating image planes and, and all that. So we're going to do that really quickly here. Uh, it's going to take us a second to get some scene set up. I just have a very simple uh, media in, media out. I've got a background plate here and let's throw some text 3D on there and I'm going to call this shadow caster and along with text 3D we're going to have to have a merge 3D. So we're going to add that along with, uh, let's see, what else do we have to have? We have to have a render node, sure. And got to have that. And on here, we have to enable lighting and shadows. And I'm going to come up here and do, 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 make sure that we've got everything kind of set up here. We're going to extrude this text just a little bit. There we go, just a hair. All right, and we need a, a light. So we'll add a spotlight, because remember, spotlights are the only types of lights that can cast shadows. So I'll move this over, and we'll give it a little rotation angle there, and we'll throw that onto the merge node. And let's make sure our 3D options are turned on for lighting and shadows got to have that and from the render node we need to have a merge node and the merge node needs to come over here and we'll connect these guys and boom okay so now we've got some text in here and we want to i want to match it to this background wall and you could play around with tilting and stuff, but it, it getting the angles and the perspectives just right is where things get tricky. So to make that easier, I'm going to add a camera 3D node. And we'll get this guy back here. We'll connect that to the merge node. And <clears throat> we'll just start by adjusting the text size down okay uh, so that'll get us in the ballpark here and that's really all I'm trying to do here is just kind of get into the ballpark with where I want the text and the size of it then we're going to adjust the camera to get the perspective right so I'm going to angle it, I'll give it, see I'll start moving the angle of the camera to try and match the angle of that wall. I think this is pretty much the easiest way of getting that perspective where you want it fairly quickly is to use a 3D camera and adjust it to make it work to with the scene. It's just going to make life a whole lot easier for you. All right, so we have our spotlight, we got our merge, we got our render, and now I could have taken that background and put it on a shape 3D and put it in the background and all that, but that wasn't the question. The question was how do you just create a shadow receiver? So it's going to be actually very simple from the render node i'm going to add a shadow node okay and now this sh shadow node is going to come up on here and we can adjust the offset of the shadow so you see it behind it now right there there's our shadow and we can adjust the softness of it and throw it off to the side there. And let's let's go to a single single view here. 
and we'll go to fit so we can see it a little better. And now we've created a shadow. Uh, it's very simple to do it this way. There's a handful of different options here on our softness and the color. So we could adjust the color of the shadow if we wanted to. I'm not going to really bother too much with that. I'm just going to make it kind of a, a dark gray. You have your light position, your light distance. So if I pull the light distance back, things get really funky very quickly. So you don't want to get too nutty with that. I'll put it back there in place. You can say what your Z map channel is. I just leave it on alpha. I just want things to blend the output. I'm outputting the image with the shadow. If I said shadow only, well, then I only have the shadow, but I want both. So to create a simple shadow receiver, you just add a shadow node in here and that's pretty much all there is to it. Adjust the, the offset and the softness and the color and you're pretty well good to go. Now, of course, if you want to do things a little differently and, you know, only have some things done that way, you'd have to create multiple groups of nodes and things. Or you, like I said, the other way that we've shown before is to have that background image be part of the uh, assigned to a shape 3D. And then that shape 3D can receive the shadow and uh, but this is kind of a, a quick and dirty way of doing it so i hope this answered the question on how to create a shadow receiver well it's simple we use the shadow node uh, if you have other questions on how to do something be sure and ask and we will do our best to do videos on how to create those things for you and show you how to do it make sure that you watch the video on the AccuSonus video plugin giveaway so you know how to get registered for that contest coming up December 20th. So someone is going to get those for Christmas. I'm very excited about that. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe and be sure and check the bell icon to make sure you get notified whenever we do new videos. Well, that's it for today on this Fusion Friday. We will see you on Monday with some new stuff for DaVinci Resolve. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We will catch you next time. Bye-bye.